Konnichiwa. This is the Shogunstein with a product review of a cute little game we backed on Kickstarter called Pug Time. Look at those cute little pugs. It is from Cesium Games, ages 8 plus, 2 to 4 players with a 10 to 30 minute uh, playing time. So Pug Time is a little card game and right off the bat... Uh, I'm really big on card quality and kudos to the manufacturers. The uh, card quality is, is very good. So the game is very uh, simple. You're going to pick a pug. That's going to be your, uh, your sort of main pug of the game. You're going to pick one of these, these characters. And the characters are like the smart pug, mischief pug, strong pug, fast pug, curious pug. Cute pug, brave pug, garbage pug. So you're going to pick one of these pugs, and you'll see that there is a number in the corner. That's important when you play the game, because the lower the number on uh, any of these cards means they're going to get played first. And each of these pugs have an ability that can uh, be triggered during the game. And uh, the game is very simple. The winner gets to 12 of these uh, points. The points are divided between uh, play, sleep, and eat. To win, you need uh, three sets of each and then three of any other ones. So you need three play, three sleep, three eat. Three sets, that's nine. And then you get three more of any other ones. So you need, uh, again, you need... To win, you're going to get your three pizzas for three, your three sleep for six, your three play for nine, and then any three others. And during the course of the game, you know, you're going to get more of these or you're going to lose them. So that's what the, the object of the, the game is. And the game is very simple. You're going to pick your pug that you want to play with. And then you're going to uh, have a hand of four cards. And you're always going to draw up to four cards at the, the end. And you're going to play one of your cards. So I'm just going to randomly pick, let's say, uh, I played this card. So I would have, uh, you know, um, it's an adventure. And uh, here's what the card's going to do. And it is number four. And then, let's say, my opponent played this card, the smelly farts. And then there's the ability here. And you can see this has a number four. This has a number eight. So the number four card will resolve first. Then the number eight card is resolved. And then um, you see if anyone is at the uh, winning conditions. And if not, you draw back up to four. And you, you repeat. So it's a, a simple filler game. And the only thing that... Uh, maybe um, enhances it in terms of the, the play from just turning over and playing the card is if you activate your pug power, which, uh, again, can make, uh, you know, maybe you get the other person's power or you get to, uh, you know, draw more cards with, with this one or discard some cards. So that, um, this pug power is the, uh, something that's going to amp up the game uh, a little more from just playing your your hand, you know, resolving this and then drawing back up to to four. So this game doesn't pretend to be more than it than it is. It's a simple, fun uh, filler game. So in terms of of positives, again, the card quality is very nice. The art is awesome. There are cute pugs. How do you not like these cute pugs? You know the cards were all illustrated with very cute, uh, you know, puppy pugs that are just really pleasant to look at. You got good card quality, and uh, the Kickstarter was a very pleasant campaign. I believe it wasn't supposed to deliver until January of 2020, and I got the game in in September. So, uh, kudos. You know, there's a lot of you know uh, questionable Kickstarters out there and, and delayed Kickstarters, and it's uh, very nice to have a Kickstarter that delivered early. So uh, that is a, a plus to, to, get, to actually get your game and then to actually get it early. 
And uh, what I liked about the, this game is that it's 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 a good filler for uh, you know you waiting for some other game to finish. You know, you, you're going to play a bigger game and then the other people you're playing with are still finishing their game. So this is a good game for something like that where you're waiting to to get uh, people finished so everyone can get into a new game. It's good for, you know, at the very beginning of a game night or at the very end of a game night. It's good for, um, you know, lunchtime. You know, doesn't require a lot of space. My son is in a... Uh, game club at his school and they only have an hour so they don't have a lot of time they can't get a lot of games in. and he brought this to his game club and the kids liked it so kids that's another plus kids it's easy to learn to play and kids like it so if you have a a limited time whether it's you know lunchtime or again like his his game club you know it works very very well they don't have time to play you know uh scythe in their you know one hour you know middle school game club so this is a good game for that uh negatives again it, it's simple fill this is not a very complex game it's not a a trick-taking game with some sort of new mechanic um personally i felt the powers on these pugs really didn't add much to the game you know again it it, it amped it a little bit from just playing one of your four cards. But in playing, you know, what powers they had were, to me, secondary to just which pug looked cuter to have, you know, on the, the, the table. So I really didn't think that these, these powers added too much to the, to the game. Maybe I would have liked to have seen some, some different, you know, powers, maybe something, uh, you know, more powerful, something more unique. But again, if this is a game that's geared towards a quick playing time and for, you know, families and, and again, for my kid to bring to, you know, his little game club at, at school, you know, then, then the powers really shouldn't be overly complicated. But that would be something that I would, I would point out. And again, in terms of, uh, I don't know if this is a negative or not, but it, it's, it's a simple game. It's not anything complex. It's not anything new. You're not getting a, a unique mechanic. It's a uh, quick filler game. And I think if you know going into it that it's a quick filler game, then you'll be all right. If you, if you buy this game expecting, you know, uh, some sort of, again, you know, really unique, complex uh, card game, then, you know, this isn't it. If you're looking for, again, a game for kids, a game for, you know, in-between games, you're looking for a game for, you know, a short period of, of time, this is this is fine. And again, the whole reason we, we backed this was the, the cute art. My son likes pugs. He likes playing games with, with pugs. He likes doing puzzles with pugs so we got this because it has pugs and in that case it does deliver because we got it wanting a cute card game of, of pugs and that's what it is a cute card game of pugs so pug time it was on kickstarter i'm not sure if this is going to retail or if you can still purchase it but if you want uh, again you know a, a fast cute filler um Pug Time is, is uh, a good game for that. My only uh, negative, again, would be that I would have liked these powers on the pugs to have been maybe a little more interesting. In the end, when it comes to playing the game, you know, I, I, it's not like, oh, I got to get the, the cute pug because I like that power better or the smart. It really came down to, you know, the fast pug look cuter. So I think I want to play the, the fast pug. So great art, great card quality. Um, that is Pug Time, Shogunstein out.